Do you hate getting caught on snags? Do you wish that all your hooks could be weedless? Well, you know, you can buy stuff to do that, but I'm going to show you two ways to leverage stuff from the dollar store to do the same thing. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, we cover kayak modifications, spin, and fly fishing. So poke that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. I'm sitting here at my rigging station and I want to show you a couple ways to use some dollar store material to make any hook weedless. But before I do that, I want to add something to the configuration of my rigging station in my earlier video. My friend Jim White made a suggestion that I get one of these fish measuring tapes and put that underneath the plexiglass and now I can measure how long of a line I'm pulling out as I make my, my leader. So, Jim, thanks for that. Anyway, let's get to weedless. You can buy these things at Bass Pro Shops. They're called hook guards, and they cost a fortune. For the small one, you get 25 hook guards in a pack for $2.99, but you only get 15 hook guards in a pack that costs $3.99. Well, let me show you how they work, and then I'll show you the dollar store solution. So here's what they look like. They're basically just a piece of plastic and at this end there's a small hole. And what you do is you take it and you put the hook through the small hole, you run it up to the eye of the hook, and then what you're going to do is you're going to stick the pointy end of the hook into the wide end. And that creates a weedless presentation. Well, pretty simple and pretty expensive for what you get. I'm going to have another option of this uh, later, but anyway, let's get into the dollar store. So all we really need is something that we can put the hook through and then stick it at the end, and then we'll have this weedless uh, base right here that will work. Well, there's two things that I found wandering through the dollar store. You've got these hair rollers, and I'll show you how we're going to use those in a minute. And then you also have head wraps. Look at all the material you get with this. Let's get into how you use each of these to make a weedless hook. Let's start with the hair rollers first, and you're going to need your fillet knife, nice and sharp, and a piece of heavy-duty wire cutter. And just go grab one of the rollers, pull it back, and this is where you got to use the wire cutters. Then you can pop this tube out, and now what we want to do is take the roller and the fillet knife and just basically cut it right in half. Now that I've cut it in half, what we want to do is get a chunk of it that's about the same size as the top of one of these hook guards. So I'm going to cut down the middle of this thing. I'm going to get a chunk of hair roller here. So I've got my pre-tied rig here. Now I'm going to take this, I'm going to run it up through, and then I'm going to look at what I need to cut. So it looks like if I cut it right there, I've got my hook guard ready to go. I put the hook in there, and now the hook guard is good to go. If you're worried about this part of the hook guard moving on the shank of the hook, you can do two things. You can either put a drop of crazy glue right there, and that will hold it in place, or you can run the hook guard down the line uh, before you tie off the top of your rig, and now when you pop it on, it's got the hook eye holding it in place and you can see that you know that's pretty good but when the fish bites it it's going to wrap right off this circle hook and go right on for flexibility you know you can always put this on right there on the water you can pre-cut these based on the size of the hooks you're using and just keep a bunch of those in your tackle box let's move on to the second option one of the cool things about using the hair bands is you get all sorts of different colors. So if you think your fish are going to prefer one co color over the other, uh, then that's the one you can pull out and use. 
Now the advantage of the head wraps is that this is a much more robust material than what you get on the hair rollers. And you can kind of see where I'm going with this. This is the perfect size when you compare it to what Bass Pro Shop was selling. It's, you know, about the same width. Now it's not as fat at the top, but that's not really going to matter. So the first thing I'm, I'm going to do is trim off the end here. And then to use this, I've got my pre-tied rig here, and it's the same approach. I'm going to put this on the end of the hook, run that up to the eye, see how much I need, and then cut it off. And once you've measured one hook, you know what this length needs to be for all your hook. I'll take a little bit more off. Once you've cut it to size, it just goes, slides on just like everything else. Just put it right on the tip of the hook. And now I'm ready to go. I've got a nice weedless presentation there, but it'll still come off very easily when a fish bites. You know, that's going to bounce stuff off just as well as what I got from Bass Pro Shops. Final step, mass production. Once you know the size, you can put it right down on a ruler. And I've got my Jim White suggestion here, and it looks like I need to make these things an inch, and so I can go and mass produce these as quickly as I need to to get as many as I need for fishing. So that's the dollar store solution. You got another good dollar store idea? Because I've got another idea that I'm going to do in a different video of how to make these things out of a a little more expensive, but might be better material in terms of attracting the fish. And I think you know what I'm talking about. Comments? Throw them down below. Thanks.